This is a 1939 Graham Shark Nose that was delivered a few days ago to Custom Replications for a complete restoration. It's one of four 1939 Grams at Cars Plus. The other three belong to us. Hello, I'm Trish. Welcome to this episode of Cars Plus. Throughout this video, you'll see comparisons to our Graham Combination Coupe, finished in Airliner Gray, and our four-door Graham Sedan, which is finished in Meadowbrook Green. The gram you see here has been featured on this channel and has its own playlist. I wasn't here on the day the Graham restoration project was delivered, and I didn't get the chance to shoot any pictures until today. The purpose of these shots is to give clarity, while we're showing you what needs to be done with the new project. We hope you enjoy this video. Nineteen thirty nine project Graham that we're doing for a customer. We're looking at the front fender here. Right in the center of the front fender, it is missing a trim piece. Each side center front trim piece is missing. So we're either going to have to find them or make them for that. Now we're looking at the front of my nineteen thirty nine combination coupe fender. And you can see right there, that's the trim piece that is missing on the project car that has just shown up. As we come around here, we're going to look under the fender. And we probably will not be able to see this well. We'll see how it picks it up. It is picking it up. The fender is actually mounted with something between the fender mount and the mount coming off the chassis. That is raising the fender up funny in the front, so the front of the car doesn't look quite right. Down here, when you look between what is called the radiator shield, the portion below the grill on the car, with the slats down there, it comes into the fender, you see the black piece of fender welting. As you come along, that fender welting should run all the way along here, between the side of the hood, the hood side, and the fender. But as you can see, it's actually missing. and doesn't start again until the very back. That has to be changed. Here we'll show you how it's supposed to look on my combination coupe. You see it down there on the bottom coming all the way up. Coming along the hood, you see it's one continuous piece that goes back along the entire hood side fender area, coming along the car, keep coming along the back, all the way down, and as we come around the bottom here, you'll see how it's actually treated on the car when the car was made at the factory, just like that. Looking at your side trim, the spear runs from the front of the car all the way to the back. I'm not going to run all the way down the side with that. The thing to remember here is that that is supposed to have red pinstriping 
in the grooves. Here we are showing it on the combination coupe. You can see the red pinstriping installed in the grooves on the side trim. Here we have the spot where your windshield wiper tower should go. Both of them are missing on the car right now. Here is a complete windshield wiper tower assembly on the combination coupe showing you what it should look like. The only difference there will probably be is the windshield wiper towers were not automatically equipped with the nozzle located on the right side of this particular shot. They were only equipped with that if you paid for the windshield wiper system to be installed as an option. Now you're looking at the center portion of the windshield. I'm showing you as is on the car. And the reason I'm showing you that is the rubber on the windshield area is quite incorrect from what it's supposed to be. Now we'll look at the correct one. Here we have the correct setup. The reason for the difference is this particular rubber ring for the windshield is available and it is one continuous piece for each side of the two-piece windshield. Down on this filler panel you might call a rocker panel. It is the replacement panel that they use in 39 and 40 instead of having running boards. However, you can see all these holes. Those are the holes for mounting the trim that's missing right now. Here you see the trim as it's supposed to appear on the car, complete with red pinstriping. Here we have the driver's side vent window rubber and you can see it's going to need to be replaced. We'll show you the correct look for that. And here we're looking at my four-door sedan with correct vent window rubber installed. Looking here at the pillar, doesn't show real good in the video, but the piece that the glass rests against is shot. Also, the proper sweepers are not in this window assembly. This is the driver's side. We're just looking at it as an example. Each of the windows is going to need to have these assemblies redone. Here's a good window sweeper right there. And as we move over and go down, you can see that there are sweepers on each side of the glass. The glass is supposed to run in. This is how the assembly should appear. Looking here at the front door handle driver's side, you'll notice it's really far out from the body. So this one's going to be, need to be fixed or replaced, because that is not correct. Here we're looking at the back one, and you'll see it's nowhere near as far out. So this is a more correct one on the back driver's side. Here we have rear vent window rubber. Also, of course, shot. Not surprising, given the age. We're going to look at the good vent window rubber. Here we have vent window rubber on my four-door sedan. It's in much better shape. However, this window is going to be 30 years old. And the plater that did this, which I haven't used in 30 years because they weren't that good, didn't get as good a job as I'd like down here on the left-hand side. This is what they're using to hold the fender skirt on on the driver's side. They have a similar incorrect fitting on the passenger side. Now we'll show you one version of what is correct on my cars. There are two versions that were used. This is the hexagonal version, which is the one I prefer. Easy to use with the wrench for your tire. There is also a slotted version that is simpler that was made. Looking at the front hubcap area and front wheel, you'll notice the wheel trim ring. It's not the way the wheel trim ring looks on a gram. There you have the correct wheel trim ring and you can also see what the hubcap should look like when it's finished. This is a basically standard design for the actual gas cap on the car. Now we'll show you the electric locking gas cap which is available as an option. Here you have the electric locking gas cap as I use on both my combination coupe and my four-door sedan. Here at the back of the car we're looking at the rubber on the rear windows. It's going to have to be replaced. It should be a one-piece ring and you notice these are cut. And here is the correct one-piece rear window 
rubber. You have a view of the license light assembly and the lower piece on the license light assembly has been painted. That's a stainless piece, it should be bright. You have a correct license light assembly with the bright piece at the bottom. Here you have the current trunk handle, not a correct handle. Here you have the correct style of handle. You notice there are no screws. So the two screw holes are gonna to have to be filled and the correct handle installed. I have not taken this apart. This is the passenger side fender skirt. And we notice it's got these screws and a dent. So there's something definitely wrong with how it is mounted in this area. Same area of the fender skirt on my green sedan. Although, of course, I'm looking at the driver's side here, but it shows you there's no screw holes or screws in that area. No rubber guards on either side of the car. Now, the original ones stand away from the car, but there isn't a piece made for them. We'll have to see if they're with the car and if they're good enough to use. A replacement piece that is available and does a nice job will not work out on the standaway guard. So they get mounted directly to the fender, but they do the job quite nicely. Obviously here we have some body damage. This is the passenger side, just in front of the passenger side door. Now I haven't gone around and found every little piece of body damage. I'm mostly looking at what is wrong parts wise or what needs to be replaced, but a lot of body work will have to be done. Another example of some damage right here in the body work. Back the hood passenger side. Bottom center of the headlight, the headlight adjuster is missing here side of the car appears to have the headlight adjuster. That particular piece in the top center of that headlight is not usable. If I were to take it off and compare it to a good one, one would see that that thing's been sanded and worn away. It's also dented badly. The trim here is cracked right in the center. That's right below the uh, grill area. The owner has ordered a new replacement part as they are being reproduced. Down below you see the Graham emblem looks in pretty good shape, but we're going to show you what it's supposed to look like. Here's what the Graham emblem should look like when it is properly restored. Looking up here at the center grill trim, here's a good one on the green sedan. Now we'll look at one on the project car. Here you see, look at that chunk out of the one on the project car. The owner has ordered a replacement for this also. Here we have the hood ornament, also the hood latch. The shield that it's sitting on needs to be replated, obviously, but that's totally the wrong hood ornament. It is a Graham hood ornament, but that's a 40. Looking at it real close, when I bring it down to the side, pay real good attention to the base front of that. We're gonna go look at the correct one. Here's the correct one. Now I should note, the black portion is a simulation of something that according to the catalog they had, which was a plastic piece there. I've never seen a good plastic piece in that area, but I have a similar way to paint that. When you look at the base though, you'll notice that the Knight's hood ornament has a much longer neck on it. That tells you that this is a 39 or 38 style. The one on the car out there is a 40 and it's 39 car, we'll have to change it. Here we are looking at the center of the rear bumper that's currently on the car. This is definitely not correct. I haven't opened these, but we're supposed to have correct bumpers that are already plated right here in this packaging. I hear you're looking at the center of a rear bumper of a Graham. Correctly done. Should say Graham should be painted red. Looking at the license plate housing. You'll notice there's no gasket behind it. Now I'll show you what it should look like. Here we have it on the combination coupe, and you can clearly see there is a rubber gasket that goes behind it. Note, no rubber gasket behind either of the taillights. Combination coupe showing a rubber gasket. The same thing is true of the sedans. Here we have the first interior video. We're looking at the trunk. Obviously the trunk prop is the wrong color. We look at the latch mechanism here, also the wrong color. The fact that the already know the exterior handle is wrong and is protruding 
into the trunk a lot. We look down here, we see they painted everything red. Wrong color on all kinds of pieces here, which will have to be redone. Looking down below, we have the piece of rubber that's supposed to seal the trunk there going across the top center. It's shot, needs to be replaced. The trunk rubber seal along the edge needs to be replaced. When we come down here, we're going to see something else that is of interest. This car has had the lower well section welded in, which is fine. But what we will do is we will put this back visually to look the way it should look on a completed Graham automobile. Looking inside the rear door on the driver's side, I believe the door card is probably an original door card, or at least a really good copy of one. But all these screws fastening it on should not be here. The window crank here looks to me like, and I have to check it, that might be a window crank that fits a Hollywood. It's certainly not correct for a Graham sedan of 1939. Looking here, we're going to see that there is no weather stripping located on the car. None of the doors have it. I'm about to show you the correct weather stripping. While this is a shot of the combination coupe, it shows you the style of weather stripping that should be in the door. It's the same thing for the sedans. But that should be in the door everywhere to seal it up. Here's your correct interior color, not the maroon you've been seeing. That is the color for the trim on the inside of a 39 gram sedan right there. Currently the rear ashtray cover is missing. It may be in some of the parts in the car. I haven't gone through all of that, but it's not there at the moment. Just looking around in here, this may, as I said, be an original interior. It's been taken out and put back in certain areas. But it looks quite possible. Current status of the dash. All the plastic is missing. We're missing the parts that go around the speedometer. So there are certain parts missing here that we're going to have to deal with. The steering wheel, the parts are supposedly on the way or here so that we can fix that. I believe this is a custom interior car from the factory. Missing all the center plastic also. There's an additional panel down here on the bottom in this car. At the moment, I can't tell you when that might have been added. We'll have to check into that. We also do not have anything on the passenger side over here. We do, when we come down though, have a version of a heater that Graham would have used back in the day. Now, particular attention, wrong cigarette lighter, wrong knob for the windshield wiper, wrong glove box latch over here also. Coming up, that is not a Graham rear view mirror, another thing we'll have to deal with. Driver's side door, we have a correct door handle. The handles for the window cranks should be similar. Here we are in my 1939 four-door sedan. You can see the correct cigarette lighter there. Correct knob for the windshield wiper here. Correct latch mechanism for the glove box. Passenger side plastic with the clock. Center plastic. Knobs are variable in grams. They'll be different in different grams. They seem to use whatever they had at the time. And we come over and we look at the instrument cluster and the way the steering wheel should actually appear. Here's a gram rear door handle. And we swing over and we look at See, the window crank also has a knight's helmet detail, so it should be a window crank like that. Here you have the correct Graham rear rear mirror.
Thanks for watching. There will be more episodes on this restoration project to follow.